Good morning guys, welcome back to a weekly vlog. You join me this afternoon in my office. It is Tuesday the 10th of November and I am about to hop on a Zoom call with Instagram, which actually is so cool. I think it's just more of like a listening event because quite often Instagram run creator events where you can like go and listen and they'll tell you tips and tricks for Instagram and stuff like that. But they're doing one over Zoom. I really need to jump on it because shock horror i'm gonna be late but i thought i would just start the weekly vlog i do need to straighten my hair i'm very aware of that because it's gone very frizzy but hello welcome to a full week in lockdown last week was like half in lockdown half not so we're back to zoom meetings cooking and tidying up constantly so welcome to the week also i'm obsessed with the salt light i got a lot of questions on it last week it's off amazon and i think it cost about 15 pounds anyway i need to go okay this is what the zoom call looks like i'm presuming you can't Hear me? No, no audio. I don't think. Oh, I don't know. And I'm based in the UK, normally London, but I'm quarantining in Manchester. Welcome as well to every... I know there's a lot of people here from different countries, so we've got people from the UK and Ireland. So I definitely do feel as though you guys know what is coming in this next clip. But I want to chat to you guys about Skillshare. You know I love Skillshare by now. I feel like I've mentioned it a lot. I've kindly been working with them since I think around March or April time. Like the beginning of this whole this whole shenanigans but i do just think that this integration into the vlog has come at the most perfect time once again we find ourselves in a similar situation to what we were in march where we're spending a lot more time in the house we're at home a lot more you may be back to working from home i really do think that skillshare is the perfect addition to a lockdown routine and i also think it provides a little bit of escapism in a world that is pretty bleak right now i'm not gonna lie so if for whatever reason maybe you're new or maybe you haven't watched my vlogs for a while or this is the first time you're watching a weekly vlog if that's the case hi if you don't know what skillshare is it is essentially an online learning community that is absolutely amazing for creative people allowing them to either fall back in love with old hobbies or find new ones and new skills and new talents it is the perfect platform if you are creative minded or a little bit experimental, a little bit adventurous, you like to try new hobbies, you like to try new things or maybe that's never been you but now you're finding yourself with more time on your hands and you don't know what to do with it and <laughs> that could be you. I definitely do think that you guys know my favourite Skillshare classes by now however I do actually kind of want to try some new ones. For example I used to do a lot of painting when I was younger I was really into like arts and crafts, painting, watercolours, that kind of thing was completely up my street and I did it all the time. Never do it anymore but there are so many online tutorials on Skillshare Skillshare that make it easy be it if you're a beginner or if you are already pretty good at it you can also do classes at a more advanced level just look at all of the options like I say this every time and I know that you guys probably know by now but I literally am blown away every single time I come to speak about this at just how many options and how many classes and how much of a breakdown into each individual subject and area of creative learning Skillshare has to offer now the reason that I am always so excited about sharing this with you guys is because I have an amazing offer for you guys so the first 1000 of you that click the link in the description below will get a free trial of Skillshare premium membership which is what I use and I absolutely love it. I think it's so worth it. And then from there onwards, after your trial, Skillshare is under $10 a month, which I just think is so affordable for everything that you're getting, for everything that you have access to. So if you haven't yet used my link to sign up to Skillshare and you do think that it's going to be something that interests you, please do go use the link in the description because honestly, I think it is so worth it, especially over this second lockdown period. The link will be the top line down in the description. And as always, thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this part of the video. But yeah, we are going to get back on with the weekly vlog because it's another week in lockdown down so let's go that was actually really interesting i could really do to tidy up my office i can't believe it's getting dark it's 3 p.m i think because it's cloudy and it's been super foggy this week as well like i think that's been a nationwide thing i'm not too sure but every evening and every morning it's thick fog and as soon as the fog starts to like set in it's just so dark so it's really bizarre i don't love dark nights I'm, I'm a summer person through and through anyway that call with instagram was really interesting to listen to i think it's good sometimes to just like i don't know not even have meetings but talk to people in the industry obviously this year has been so isolating in every sense of that word that i almost like i forget that other people do this as a job sometimes especially because i'll go a few days maybe without watching youtube or without like i don't know interacting with the online sphere as much and it just feels really nice to be connected with people even though it is over zoom it just is 
yeah, it's sometimes really helpful and it's sometimes really inspiring. Like that conversation was a lot about reels. Obviously reels is a new feature on Instagram, um, how to utilize it, how to use it. Like there's a lot of changes within Instagram and obviously it's a huge part of my job. It's a huge part of advertising and what I do. In fact, for every brand, I think online advertising has just skyrocketed this year, but then in the same breath, it has also fallen and like advertising is down because brands don't have as much money. So it's, it's proper swings and roundabouts, but it was very interesting to learn about and to talk to people from Instagram. So having said that, I need to finish my idea for this evening um i'm trying the best i can to fill my days with things like okay okay i wouldn't always do all of this stuff like i definitely have been doing a lot more on like tiktok and like i'm just making more social media content really to fill my time but yeah i think i think i've got a good feeling about this weekly vlog i've got a good feeling about this week i feel a lot more positive than last week my headspace is completely different i think the first day when we went into lockdown i was totally hit by the biggest wave of I don't know how I'm gonna do this month I don't really know what I'm gonna use to fill my time because it's not that I'm like particularly devastated to be in the house or like can't bear to spend time with my family like it's not that at all it's just that I, I don't fare very well with being bored and I don't really like sitting still you might have noticed if you watch my vlogs quite a lot that I'm quite often on the go out and about one place the next place the next place and this kind of lifestyle just doesn't really suit me and I think the prospect of that for a whole nother month really felt daunting but then actually when you strip it back a month is not a long time and it is it's passing and I feel a lot more positive this week so that's good happy mental health chats this week not negative ones like the other day um but I'm gonna get downstairs and edit I love the video going up tonight so much fun so embarrassing it's just 30 minutes of randomness and entertainment there is no educational value to the video going up tonight but it was a laugh to film and yeah harry potter movie marathon up on my channel now go and watch it if you haven't already because yeah hello look who it is who is it what is it that's such a cute angle oh thank you oh thank you you're okay my mum was just stood at the side looking at her like, oh, my favourite child, my baby. Talking about the dog, not me, obviously. Anyway, I haven't filmed very much in the vlog today because I'm actually filming a separate video that's already up on my channel by now. It's the cooking video, the vegan video. Lottie, how do you feel about vegan mac and cheese? Not sure it's a dog food. Are you ready for a walk? We're going to go on a walk. Cool mum then, let's go. Cool mum. Cool, As I said, we're walking the dog. We're walking it into Beverly, into the town centre. Walking it, walking her into Beverly um, because it is Remembrance Day. It's the 11th of November. And I spoke about this in a separate video that's coming super soon because I'm really excited about next week's video. Not directly related to Remembrance Day, but it features in it. So yeah, we're just walking into town. We've got the dog. Here she is. Here she is. And I've gone for a very autumnal, like, jacket, lip, hat combo. Whereas I'm just in my dog walking. <laughs> the thing is, it's actually not cold. I'm boiling and I'm wearing a really like this is my in-between kind of jacket it's like a thin you know the kind where it's not a super warm coat and I'm still sweating like mad so that's nice maybe that's too much info I never come down the street in Beverly and there's actually some really cute shops obviously I mean they're all closed but like what is this oh my god they sell Gucci in there wow never been in this shop either literally don't think I've ever been down this street got myself a Costa asked for a medium they charged me for a small and they gave me a large so silver linings today's going quite well what have you seen Lottie walking with the dog is hilarious because she's she's really well behaved but she's so distracted so easily like she sees one thing and she's just like oh like right now for example she's seen a squirrel <laughs> how's it going mum it's just it's just a bit it's a bit exhausting People do this when they've got a toddler with them as well. Or if they have multiple dogs. I always think people walking like three dogs. That's a skill. Guys, I am in my office. This has turned into an accidentally really worky day. Like I kind of thought that I didn't really have much to do today. As you've probably gathered if you watch my weekly vlogs, my weeks vary so much. Sometimes I'm super busy with loads of brand stuff and then the next week I might literally not have anything to do other than edit the three videos that I put out every week regardless. But today has ended up accidentally quite busy. I just shot some really great photos with Lottie for a brand deal. Any brand deal where they want the dog involved is instantly my favorite, even though it's a nightmare to work with her because you know that saying don't work with animals that is so true like she she's not a performance dog put it that way she she doesn't like sitting still um, it involves a lot of treats and it involves a lot of patience on my part which I actually don't really have but the photos did turn out pretty cute so I'm excited for you to see them whenever that brand approves it and it's ready to go live 
But anyway, it's Wednesday afternoon. I've just been filming ah, for another brand. Hence why the window, the blind is closed. It's not night time yet. It is the middle of the day. So I'll open that back up. Oh, I didn't show you this. So the other day from the garden centre, I also bought this wreath. I think I mentioned the garden centre in the vlog last week. But I also got this. I really, really like it. Because it's kind of Christmassy. But I reckon I can leave it up all year round. It's like, not a wreath. I just called it a wreath, didn't I? It's a garland. And I've just put some lights on the windowsill as well. Kind of just thrown them on. They don't look great. But um, yeah, it's like a pink and purple berry themed garland. And I really like it. I think this whole like area just looks really cute now especially with my salt light don't know if you've gathered I'm like really quite obsessed with this oh I'm so sad I also bought the other day my first Christmas presents for Tom and I'm gonna show you because there's absolutely no risk of him watching this vlog I don't think he's ever watched a video of mine in his life um, so I'm gonna show you because yeah it's not that exciting either way but I actually found these coffee syrups and I just thought they were so perfect because Tom's recently really got into coffee like he never used to drink it he used to go to coffee shops all the time and I would get the coffee and he would just get like a hot chocolate or a coke or something now he likes coffee particularly flavored coffee and he has a coffee machine at home but they don't have any flavored syrups or anything i got him these which i thought were an absolute steal i think they were three pounds each and this is hazelnut syrup and this is caramel syrup and i know this is a bit of a strange gift but i know that it's one that i would really appreciate because although it is nice and they look nice and it's like thoughtful it's also practical, like he's gonna use them. I can use them obviously, like steal them a little bit. These are the first gifts I've bought this year. I know some people that are completely sorted for Christmas, they've wrapped everything up, it's all ready to go. And I'm like, hey, I've bought one thing of hazelnut syrup and the caramel one. So yeah, I'm not, I'm not very organized. I think I do know what I'm gonna get him. Cause obviously Tom's the only real person that I buy for. Like I do gifts obviously within my family. I get my brother stuff, I get my mum and dad stuff, but I don't really have anybody else to buy for particularly, especially now that I'm not in school. And I'm also not like in education anywhere. Like I don't really, we don't do friend gifts as such. I am doing Secret Santa with some of my friends. Um, but again, that's only one person. So I'm only really buying for my family and Tom plus my one Secret Santa. So I know what I'm getting Tom. <laughs> I don't know what I'm getting my family. For the last two years, I've got like experiences and like holidays. So last year I booked my mum and dad a weekend away in Barcelona. Harry and I like clubbed money together, bought them that from both of us. Obviously that didn't get to go ahead. So my parents just didn't get a Christmas present last year. So that's cool. Um, obviously at some point, hopefully that will be rescheduled, but I don't really know what's going on there. So this year, obviously I'm not gonna book flights to anywhere as a gift because who knows when we'll be able to fly again. I just don't really know what to get. I feel like this has been a very strange year to then buy gifts at the end of it. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. What are you getting your mum and dad for Christmas? I think specifically my dad is the hardest person to buy for on the planet. So any great dad gift ideas, let me know. I am gonna film a gift guide video in a couple of weeks, but that's gonna be more for like girls, sisters, friends, mums, rather than men maybe it should be for men because i struggle with them the most i don't know what to get my dad or my brother anybody wants a random gift for their boyfriend that's a coffee lover three pounds also from the garden center i'm actually so sad it's ridiculous <laughs> Guys, it is now Thursday and I'm on a dog walk and I just wanted to vlog this because I've not seen a hedgehog since I was about six. Okay, maybe six was an exaggeration. Do you think it's dead? It's not dead, you can see it breathing. Why is it just here? Oh, look at it, it's so small. I always want to stroke them, but I don't think they're friendly, are they? Like, they don't want to be touched, they're wild animals. But it shouldn't be in the middle of the path, it could get mauled by a dog or something, or like... This one's not that bothered. what do you think of it? Have you ever seen a hedgehog before? Yeah, I just saw one the other day. Is it your friend or is it a foe? I've just seen it. Lottie, he's silly dog. What's that? Should we move it? It shouldn't just be in the middle of the path. A bike could hit it. This is like a really popular cycle path. Guys, it's so small. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is the highlight of my day. Do you think it's gone into hibernation in the middle of the path? <laughs> We decided I literally, I couldn't leave it in the path. I was too paranoid about it either being, like a lot of dogs, in fact, almost yeah, all dogs, dogs there, are off the lead on this area, like where we're walking now. Like it's a really popular, like let your dog off a lead and it can just run. And obviously you don't know what a dog would do to it. Felt my sense of duty come in. So we got a dog poo bag and I just kind of very lightly picked it up and put it under the hedgerow and it was completely fine. Didn't touch it either because obviously you don't really know what's on it. And it didn't seem too, it didn't seem too bothered, did it? It might have taken it an hour to get to where I know, it was. well to be just, fair, hopefully that was where it was trying to get to, but I, it was just in the middle of the path and I just couldn't leave it there because it would have just been killed. Those you dogs see, over there would have had it because they're huge. You see, well no, not all big dogs that eat hedgehogs. No, I don't mean eating them, but fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, plus you see squashed hedgehogs all the time, yeah. don't you, that have been hit by stuff and a lot of bikes do come down here. Good deed of the day, I hope. Saved a hedgehog. Lossie was pretty uninterested as it goes. Well, she probably thought it was a squirrel to start with. Oh, really? 
Oh, Lottie, you got yourself in a right old tangle. <sighs> it is now a lot later on in the day. It is actually half past seven. I'm about to jump on a Zoom call with Erin and some of my school friends because it was actually Erin's birthday last week. Obviously, I couldn't see her. Most of my friends are still away at university. Erin was in Lancaster, but we're having a Zoom call this evening, so that's going to be good. Some of my friends are back at home, basically, obviously, because of the lockdown. I'm not seeing them anyway, but some of them have moved back home. But before I jump on the Zoom call, I wanted to talk to you about Peach Street again. This sounds like a repetitive ad. It's actually not. This is just a business that I'm setting up with other people that I'm so excited about that is launching the day you're watching this so if you've heard me talking about it and you're like I don't really know what you're talking about I can't really get a vibe for it the website is now live so you can check everything out you can check the clothing out obviously I haven't like personally manufactured anything but I have been involved in the process from the very beginning especially the last part like the social promotion and like you know the countdown on Instagram the giveaway all of that kind of stuff it has been very much me so I have a box here of all of the prototypes so these aren't quite the final versions basically they're pretty much the final versions the only difference is if you were to order this the logo would be slightly smaller noticeably but not massively like everything else is the same the fabric the colors um it's just the scale of this is slightly slightly smaller obviously we are just a startup brand we are a startup company it's loungewear it's gymwear this is one of the sports bras this is my personal favorite we also have hoodies this is my favorite color that the hoodie comes in it's this gorgeous like ashy pinky mauve tone this is the logo it's obviously the peach basically i completely understand that a lot of you might not be interested in this but it's loungewear it's a startup brand that's just launched today obviously there are going to be little bits and bobs that we need to tweak nobody involved has owned a clothing business like this before uh, definitely not one that i'm this hands-on in it's something that we're learning on the go we want to take take advice we want feedback we want reviews this is another one of the sports bras some of it is very much like gym wear so this kind of stuff is gym wear and then obviously the hoodie the joggers is more like loungewear the joggers are also one of my favorites these are the joggers here absolutely love these drawstring joggers most things come in a variety of colors these joggers Joggers come in four colour option, uh, the hoodie comes in five colour options, so I really do recommend checking it out, I will leave the site down below because as I said it is live by the time this goes up, but very excited for it to come into fruition, I'm so gutted that it's fallen during the lockdown because it does mean that shipping times are slightly slower, I do just want to say if you order anything, um, originally we were aiming for three working days, I think now it's between five and seven, sometimes up to ten just because of the lockdown, things are made to order so they're not being shipped as quickly. Um, obviously the amazing part of this is that there is no waste products things are made after they're ordered but that does slow the process down this obviously is just the beginning we could trial various different things we just want to see what works to start off with really so for now things are made to order and the shipping might be slightly slower so hopefully if you do order anything you will understand that but genuinely the quality of the product is really really good for now everything is vinyl printed on this is something we might look at changing in the future but obviously as i said this is just round one this is drop number one and we want we want your advice we want your feedback and like everything the quality you can't fault it nothing is cheap nothing has been done by half the prices are in line with other loungewear brands slightly more affordable than some popular loungewear brands but we have not cut the cost to make it cheaper because we want the quality to be amazing so yeah i just wanted to chat to you there's a whole box here all the products are now live on the site so i'm not going to talk through them but i just wanted to like update you i keep updating you weekly this is a very exciting venture i am one part so excited that i can offer my like expertise in social media and my knowledge that i can contribute to this business has been so exciting and it's probably the best thing to come out of the lockdown so yeah peach street clothing website is now live i'll link it down below i'm gonna hop on a zoom now i need to go and get a glass of gin first because we're having a, a boozy zoom call erin some of the girls some of the lads it's gonna be a bit of a bit of a party Woo! you can't have a party in your room no matter how hard you try but it can be fun anyway <laughs> party for one it is now the next day. Please excuse the open wardrobe. That's not really a vibe. Neither is this appearance. But it's such a worky day. So I'm just going to end the vlog here. I know this week's actually been a really weird vlog. Like I just put all the footage in. And I was like wow. This is so all over the place. But next week should be really good. Because I'm actually going to vlog uh, my brother's birthday. My brother Harry turns 18 tomorrow. Uh, which is very exciting. So I'm going to vlog that as part of next week's weekly vlog. So at least there'll be something going on a little bit. If you have enjoyed this for whatever reason. And you just like the homely kind of cosy vlogs. Please do give it a huge thumbs up. So Subscribe down below if you're new to my channel and check out the two videos I uploaded during the week because I really really liked them I enjoyed filming them had a laugh and I feel like that's what sometimes these videos are about So I shall be back on my channel on Tuesday with another video. Bye guys